everyone keeps telling me how my story is supposed to go. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the smoke clear out of my face and my picture perfect. Nah, I'm gonna do my own thing. Look in my eyes, tell me your tell. Do you see the road? I am to my soul. Tell me the size whenever the Are you ready to be entertained? Let's get into another episode of True Blood Season 2, Episode 8. Let's jump right into it. Four reactions are down below. And while you're down there, please hit the like button, share, and don't forget to comment. Now, without further ado, let's jump into True Blood and find out exactly what this show has got to give. Ooh, this guy. Gotcha. Gotcha. You should not have come. Bill! Down here. You're a fool for sending humans after me. I had no other choice. I seek to destroy you. I'm aware of what they have planned. This will betray you. He's with the Fellowship. They set a trap for us. Not leaving your side until then. I can take care of myself. We have to go! Spill no blood on your way out. What? God save me. Oh, for heaven's sake, grow a brain cell! Paintballs! Bitch! I let you into my house, into my bed. All I believed in, I violated to be with you. Okay. You're worse than Judas. Wow, what did oh. he do to you? Fuck you! Oh, ah. God. Tell me what you want me to say, don't you? You came to prey on me, to ruin the sacred vow I made to my husband. Okay, I ran, but it wasn't from you. <laughs> it was from your husband. Tell him. I didn't tell him anything. He's the one who told me. There are wolves in our hen house. We must defend our flock. Well, what's that got to do? We have your sister. Listen to me. She's got nothing to do with this. You staghouses. Two-faced vampire fuckers. <laughs> if I find out any of you so much as touched her, come back here and won't be with no fucking pink gun. Brothers and sisters, we are on lockdown. Security personnel will provide you with stakes and silver just outside the chapel. Brothers and sisters, the hour is upon us. I could have you out in seconds. There's kids out there. Didn't you bring Bill with you? His attachment to you is irrational. It clouds his judgment. I'm following Godric's orders and getting you out. That's all. He's your maker, isn't he? Don't use words you don't understand. Oh. You have a lot of love for him. Don't use words I don't understand. I love you. Go ahead, Eric. Eric, no. Trust me. And get out my business. <laughs> Steve sent me over to the man the exit here. I think I can take it from here. Where's your stake? Oh, maybe I can borrow yours if, if that's okay. Well, I can't do that. I very much would like to borrow your stake. Yeah, that'd be okay, I guess. Stay! <laughs> Those arrows are wood. He'll never make it through. Eric, through the sanctuary. He's trying to save you, girl. Where's the exit? Back that way. There are several exits, actually. The easiest one takes you straight to hell. Oh. No one has to die. The war has begun, you evil whore of Satan. Oh. Lines have been drawn. You're either with us or against us. The vampire you're holding prisoner got away. He's a sheriff. Any vampire will do for our grand celebration. And we got one right here. Brothers and sisters, there will be a holy bonfire at dawn. Room service and a gift for us. No, uh, no, I don't do any... <gasps> Hearts pound and so much tastier. Oh, so okay. Just like an alarm clock, you can't switch off. Blah, 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 blah. You first bite. I am not hungry. Oh, come <laughs> on. This human act you do for your girlfriend is charming and all, but we both know better. Let him go. Well, soon. No. This one's different. I've never tasted. What are you? I, I don't know what you heard, but those were screams of pleasure. Ah! Right? Truly care for her. You will take her to your car this very moment and drive her back to Bon Tom. Oh shit, Hooker. What? In this position, it calls for a sacrifice in matters of the heart. You're gonna have to make a choice. What am I turn out well, right? You wanna see your future? 
justice. I'm going to go and clean a grill or something. What time is it? What? What time is it? It's, it's, it's in past 12. We just closed. Why? It happened again. I, I've lost the last couple of hours. Are you sure? Yeah. You don't remember anything? Past Paris Road and I'm over by Lake. He killed that girl, lady. Tara, what the hell is wrong with me? Lafayette, you, you okay to close up? Yeah. Yeah, y'all go ahead. Damn, Lafayette knows something. It's okay. I'm with the fellowship. You gotta let me in. I'm a cadet with the Light of Day Institute. Keep strapped. Honesty. Dude. Honesty. Oh, we got the vamper surrounded. Mm -hmm. He's got some effing fang banger chick with him. Is that a paintball gun? Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Jason. He does. Who is this? Hello? Sam. Jesus Christ. He's like, I want to keep your bottom half warm. Sheriff's Department. Anyone in there? What'd you make them? Officers of Silver can betray a child of Satan to the world. That just makes me sense. I offer myself in exchange for Godric's freedom. She is a traitor to her race. The human race. Oh. Maybe I should die to you so you can meet the sun together. Oh, God. <laughs> Bell's here. One more step, vampire, and the girl died. Honestly, what do they see in you? Soldiers, ah. some silver chains for a friend here. Let her go, fuckwad. Oh. Oh. Ah. Let's Good go. Good job, Sucky. Do not kill him! Kill him! Kill the motherfucker! What is going on? Do you expect us to sit on our thumbs while you round up your men to come lynch us? We'll kill you first. Same way we did your father. Oh, God. Murderer! Stop Stop him. Him. Let's go now! Enough! You came for me, I assume. Underling? See, we can coexist. Mr. Newland, I do not wish to create bloodshed when none is called for. We leave you in peace. Will you do the same? No. I will not. Jesus will protect me. I'm actually older than your Jesus. You're older than Good Jesus? people. Who of you is willing to die for this man's madness? Go home. It's over now. Oh, thank God. Ah. Your, I dare say my faith in humankind is stronger than yours. Yeah, well, he is a coward. Come. After what these humans have done to you. I said come. Sure you're okay? She's fine. Go with your maker. What were you doing with those people? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, I was. That some bitch is like he sucked out my brain and planted all his own babies in there. On the final day of reckoning. We'll see who goes to heaven. No, I've already been to heaven. It was inside your wife. Come on. Take your brain. Ah. Honesty my ass, shithead. I've been in heaven ever since your wife. <laughs> we can't tell you who phoned it in. They wanted you to find me. Was it a woman's voice? Sam? There's a rumor you were having a relationship with the deceased. We kind of broke up. Were you angry? Found to be some hurt feelings. This is the second time in two weeks a woman's been found in your ball with a heart mystery. And you know me. I'm not sure we do. You got no birth records? It's hard to explain. Save it, son. Nothing about your past ever checks out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. But you don't think it's Sam, do you? Let me get him. Hold on, Kenya. I'm not here as a cop, okay? I'm a witness. You got the wrong guy. I saw him nearly get killed last night. By who? The bull. Claws. A bull. In a dress. With claws. Okay, Andy. She was part of this whole group of crazy people that was trying to get him. I tried to fight him off. I'm tell him. Help me. If I told you that's what happened, would you believe me? I blacked out last night. Arlene blacked out. 
Maybe there's some kind of gas leak. But he said he saw all of us. Andy's the only one we know is out of his mind. No, we're just trying to piece together everything we've been doing the past couple days. Sounds like somebody's been enjoying himself a bit too much. Tell you what, why don't we ease up on the party for a little while, hmm? Take it easy. Snacks ready. You guys gonna eat the heart? Oh my god, that looks amazing. What is it? Hunter souffle. What is in there? Is that the rabbit you call? Among other things. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> they act like they. What is wrong with them? Mmm. Welcome home, Sheriff. We are all very relieved. I just want to say I'm real sorry for what the fellowship put you through. Help save many lives today, Mr. Stackhouse. Please know you have friends in this area whenever you visit. Hail the conquering hero. Oh, no, I'm no hero. But in my area, we know you well as a buyer and user of vampire blood. All things considered, however, you will call it even. We won't be doing it again. Yeah. No. No. Boy, you've been alone with me all night. Nonsense. Oh. Commotion has hardly been time. I don't even want to know what almost happened to me down there. Where were you? Suki, you're fucking annoying. Like, she's fucking annoying. She's so annoying. Now, mind you, I just want to take a moment. When Bill disappeared and he was gone for however long that was, does she really give a f No, she's always about herself. I know y'all, I know people like her, and you tell me she's from a small town. Um, I'm not from a small town. Uh, but still, this, she, she's about to go on her spew of like, oh my god, it's all about me. Oh my god, look, there's a whole party of vampires. But you've been avoiding me all night long. But Godric, we just finally found him after whatever, eight episodes. And, and oh my god, it's about me. And, and I got this jacket, it's really nice. It's about me. Look. So I'm preparing myself mentally, physically, and emotionally to deal with the Suki for the next 20 minutes talking about herself. Let's go. Every time I've needed you, you've always come around, and even in broad daylight. What kept you? Held. Held? I kidnapped? I heard my name. I hope you were speaking well of me. Why should I? The bond between a vampire and his maker is stronger than you can imagine. Perhaps one day you'll find out. Ah, uh, <laughs> they got home already? I guess it's not that far. Bill might not like us doing stuff in his house. <laughs> You'll never know. You don't want to, don't you? I'm sure you. <laughs> just that Sucky and Bill might come in any minute. We love Hoyt. I just don't want to spend another half an hour dealing with him having sex. <gasps> what happened? I don't know. It, just, it felt like we grew back. It what? My, I mean, it fucking grew back. Jeez, you know what I mean? Everything heals when you're a goddamn vampire. Okay, come on. Every time will be like our first time. It'll hurt like hell. Uh. I'm gonna be a virgin forever. Oh. I don't like being touched. Well, believe me, I do not like touching you. Your contact with Suki will cease from this moment. Oh, that's hardly your decision. Are you picking a fight? I'd like to see you try. She will never be yours. And there is nothing you can do. Here is the one who betrayed us. He's your human, is he not? Yes, he is. Do you love him? It appears you love him still. But you are my sheriff. Do with him as you please. What? The human is free to go. I fear it is not safe for you here. This is a travesty. This is my verdict. Escort them out. Make sure he leaves unharmed. Yes, Godric. Wow, Godric's like a really, really, really good vampire. Godric is sheriff, and he has the authority I to. mean, with Eric, why are you talking to him? <laughs> she don't care about nothing that's going on. Then who was it? There's some place we can talk in private. Jason, this really isn't the time. Look, if I don't see this now, I'm going to... I hope somebody bites you. <laughs> annoying. <laughs> then jail's just about the safest place to spend the night. Hey, Sam, join the party. <laughs> it's been a hell of a night. Must be a full moon. Pretty sure it's not. What did they arrest you for? Sodomy. What? Sodomized a pine tree. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Don't worry, Mike. It'll heal. What are you in for? Leave him alone, Mike. Sam? You love my sister, and uh, there ain't no reason why he shouldn't be able to. All this time, I let my own stupid ignorance stand in the way. We forgive you. But I am also in your debt for helping rescue Sookie. I'm, I'm just sorry it took me so long to... 
wake up to it? <laughs> <laughs> we love Jason. Is that okay for you? <laughs> Hugo has been dispatched. I told him not to stop driving until he reaches the Mexican border. I've arranged for an AB negative human for you. Extremely rare. I doubt the fellowship had anything to offer. Why wouldn't you leave when I first came for you? They didn't treat me badly. You'd be shocked at how ordinary most of them are. They do nothing but fan the flames of hatred for us. We are frightening. The thousands of years we haven't devolved. We've only grown more brutal. I don't see the danger in treating humans as equals. The Fellowship of the Sun arose because we never did so. I could have killed every last one of them within minutes. And what would that have proven? Ah, uh, I inhaled that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like a superhero. <laughs> you lying? I mean, crazy. I feel invincible. I fucking hate your guts. You fucking bitch. I fucking hate you too. <laughs> My God, she's doing all of it. <laughs> <laughs> now that feels so fucking good. Oh, 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 Made him what he is today. Lorena! I was just getting to know your plaything. You always did like to prey on the innocent. Did you know your boyfriend? Hit me over the head with a 52-inch plasma television? Wielded properly. It's quite a weapon. You did? Ah. Lorena, you need to leave. She was holding me prisoner. Shaw. We were just catching up. You know how old lovers can get sometimes. Do not touch him. More than a blood bag. You cannot win this. I've already won. Don't you have any shame? Fuck you, stop! I'd listen to him. Liam and I love each other. You've gone mad! Get out now! He doesn't love you. He never has, and that we both know. Lost this one! You tracked your face. I neither know nor care who you are. I'm the authority. Do you understand? This human has proven herself to be a courageous, and yet you treat her like a child does a dragonfly. Pulling off wings for sport? She provoked me. And you provoked me. I could snap you like a twig. It's your choice. Indeed it is. You're an old vampire, I can tell. You've had hundreds of years to better yourself, yet you haven't. And I fear for all of us, humans and vampires, escort her from the nest. I wish you out of my area before dawn. I can't help that I still love you. You know I do. It's become nothing but a constant humiliation. The pain that you suffer, you've inflicted upon yourself. When will we see each other again? Never. We're immortal. Our paths are bound across eventually. I actually like her. This is that guy who I thought was a coward at that church thing. He's gonna kill a bunch of vampires. Yep, I was right! Just go. Yep, he's gonna start the war. My name is Luke McDonald, and I have a message for you all. I'm Reverend Steve Newland. Fuck your head, phone! Well, well. So let's start off with Suki. Listen, we have to talk about the worst part of this this show. <laughs> the worst part of this episode. Listen, Suki does things to me that makes me literally lose my ever living mind. I have to say, she's not always really annoying, but when she is, it is almost unbearable for me to sit here and literally allow this person to continue on. Um, and I have no choice because it's already scripted, it's already filmed, it aired uh, over eight years ago, I'm sure, and I'm stuck with it. So I don't know why this character is the way she is. I understand somebody from, listen, okay, so I might not be from a small little town, but I know people from small little towns and they are just nothing like her. They're kind of like, you know, naive to like bigger things, like, or now I want to say bigger things, but 
how the world might work out of their bubble. Um, and they might, be, their personalities might be flawed in some ways, com how I view it. But overall, they don't annoy me. Like, it might happen on and off. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm thinking about one person in particular who is from a small town. Um, and, and they're from the South, too. So it's so much different from me here being in New York. Um, and sometimes I get irritated. But I have to say, Suki is like, I, and I, I have to, listen, I'm trying to remember her age. I'm trying to remember she's in a small town. I'm trying to remember she's in the South. I'm trying to remember, and no shade to the, to the Southerners watching this, but I'm just small town from the South. It's different from up North and how we do things. Um, and I'm from, I'm not from, but I live in New York City. So I'm trying to say all of this and keep replaying it in my mind before I give you guys something nasty and something raunchy um, that I just wanna, I just want, like I can't believe that I started rooting for the other girl, Marina, whatever her name is, to bite Suki because I just wanted her to be quiet. Suki is, I just, I don't understand. If you're from a small town, I don't think you're gonna be in a house full of vampires who are obviously much stronger, um, and you're gonna keep going toe to toe with them. And then somebody could say and argue ferociously down below. Well, you know, um, you know, she's she's showing how strong and powerful she is. No, she's showing how stupid she is. And I'm sorry to use the S word. I know somebody is upset somewhere, but she just con constantly in this show keeps pulling the envelope open for her to be killed. And I know she's not gonna be killed because she's the main. main character but she doesn't ever think like she's oh she's always Suki's biggest flaw is Suki is about herself and I know somebody once again can argue like she she helped Eric she took the, the thing off of Eric she did this she did she's done things that shows that she's not only about herself but her overall flaw is she's about herself it's like Oh, you know, this is the second time, Bill. You didn't, you didn't come. Why didn't you come and save me, Bill? Why didn't you save me? What did, she didn't ever ask Bill, like, what's going on? Like, you know, are you okay? Like, it, that's not what it was about. It's always about sucky, 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 sucky. Shut up, sucky! Shut up! Shut up! If I was her brother, I wouldn't have saved her. I would have been like, listen, that's my sister and all. But listen, to each his own, her personality sucks. Like, bite her. Like, I don't know, like, I just can't, I can't. And her head, and her walks, and her, everything about Suki is like, it just irritates me. I just, at least in this episode, this episode, and also, I have to do a quick disclaimer. For those that love Suki, I'm sorry. I'm starving. I don't have a Snicker bar. I'm craving grilled pork chops with rice and beans, honey, with a side of salad. Um, and I don't have it right now. So you have to bear with me. And I have an empanada actually in my refrigerator. So I'm super excited for that. Soon as I eat, you know what? This show, I have to be on a full stomach. I have to be not hungry. Um, because I, the only person, in, well, that's a lie. Between Suki and those cops, it doesn't matter if it's um, Andy or the old man or the black lady. I'm sorry, I don't know their names. They all are annoying. They all are annoying. And, and then it's me who worked with law enforcement before. So it's just like, I'm like, oh my God. But it's also a show. So I, I'm trying, like, you see, you see what's happening right here? In real time, I'm trying to not show you guys how irritating these three characters, Suki, even Andy, he irritates me, but this episode, he didn't bother me. But the other guy, the cops, oh my God, the cops, I don't understand why this town isn't running rampant with like murders and like thieves and like drug addicts. Like if they were in charge of any town that I know of, like everybody would just do whatever they want to do. They arrest the wrong, they ask the wrong questions, they arrest the wrong questions, they don't, they're just the worst. They are the worst. What police academy did this group batch of people come from? Um, it's just, although, I mean, if you did hear the story about like what a, a horse or whatever he said with claws in a skirt or whatever he said was actually quite hysterical. Andy gave me a laugh there. Um, and it's just, I don't know. And then Sam doing what he did, you know, what did he do? I don't know. I'm just in the mood to blame somebody. I don't know what Sam did, but I'm sure I can find it. The, the, and then Tara was kind of annoying me, but then I always, always kind of re remembered she's under a hypnosis thing due to the witch. 
the main characters I liked, I'm trying to get away from Suki because she keeps popping in my head like, and I just see Suki's face like that, you know, with the stupid, ugh. Anyways, um, the main characters that saved this episode for me was Marianne, Eric, even, I have to tell you, <laughs> no mercy, no mercy outro. I'm sorry, I know everybody loves Godric. I was like, okay, Godric, you're kind of annoying me. But um, it's only because he's super good and probably because I was already steered into like being angry and I'm starving. So I wanted Godric to come out and at least kill somebody. I was like, listen, you over here being holier than thou, but that is, it shows you that he's a good character. Slap, what's it, what would Jesus say? You slap one cheek, I give you my other cheek, or something, something. Somebody who has a Bible is typing ferociously down below right now. But it's something about like, you know, pretty much you do me wrong, but I won't retaliate. It's kind of what I'm getting from it. And that's what Godric was. He's a really nice guy. I know a lot of women have a crush on him and gay men. They say he's hot. I'm still waiting for it. Um, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but I really like Eric. Eric in here. Eric in this episode, I was like, yo, he's fine. Eric is fine. He's tall. Then when he changed his accent to act like one of them, I was like, yes, Eric is fine. Um, Jason Stackhouse was amazing in this episode too. Like his character, Jason Stackhouse and the wife, their banter with the paintball, paintball back and forth, loved it, loved it. I thought it was hysterical. She actually gave me life, liberty, and justice. So overall, this episode, I would give it 8.5. Um, even Bill kind of annoyed me. Oh, I'm so gay. Like, it, like, yeah. <laughs> Suki, Suki, Suki. Like he's just so obsessed with Suki. What Eric did, although his method was kind of effed up, I would do the same thing because Bill is only focused on Suki. Like he's not, he, he, another one. Like these two don't belong together. And I know they're gonna belong together. They're gonna be that way in this whole entire way. How many seasons are there of this show? This show's a really good show. Please don't take what I'm saying um, to heart. There's seven, seven seasons of this show. We are only on season two. I hope and pray that in season three, that this Suki and Bill thing, at least like a little bit, like it's not so like, Suki, Bill, why didn't you come save me? Suki, Bill, you walked through daylight to save me, but in the last episode, you didn't save me. Suki. around me, Bill, but I want to know, why are you staring at me? Sucker! Like, I can't take any more of that shit. Um, <laughs> that shit needs to come to a motherfucking close as soon as motherfucking possible, y'all. Or please remind me, please, you know what it is? Don't ask me to do another reaction until I eat. This is me raw and uncut it before I eat. The last time I ate was at 3.30 a.m. and it is now 1.34 p.m. and I am pissed. <laughs> I'm livid. Um, but anyways, this is a really good episode. <laughs> that, and I love um, Hoyt. Shout out to Hoyt, you know, having a big penis. Um, and him sleeping with Jessica and I, I was like, why is she bleeding? I was like, oh my God. Is she on her period? Like, you know, at least she's not pregnant. And then um, I remembered it keeps closing because she keeps healing. So now every single time she's like, I'm gonna be a virgin forever. And I saw his face and he was like, <laughs> well, you know, so there's that. Um, but I do feel bad. I like Jessica. I know people don't like Jessica. I would trade Jessica over Suki any day. Throw Suki into a pond with all those freaking um, whatever those things are, just throw her in there with that white jacket and that curly hair and the, that personality and let her and Bill fucking play with the fish. I'm over, I'm so over. Where is the sunlight and where is a school bus? Where is her scooter? Um, I'm over Suki, I'm so over Suki. Please, Lord, rem remind me to eat before I watch another episode of True Blood. It's not the show, Lord. It's the police officers and it's Suki. They are trying to ruin it for me. Please make sure I eat. Don't listen to anybody. Just eat. <laughs> I promise you the next reaction, I'll be stuffed and I'll probably love Suki. <laughs> Please, the next episode I do, 
watch that reaction when it drops, and then come back to here and see how I'm literally losing my mind. And then be like, yeah, <laughs> this is normal Andres. <laughs> He's crazy. Um, anyways, I like this episode. I love Hoyt. He's, and then we saw Hoyt in his tidy whities kind of thing. And like, ooh, I was like, yeah, he is everything. I wonder, can we, before I get off this reaction, because I gotta go, um, Hoyt, um, actor who played Hoyt in True Blood. I wanna know his, I wanna see what he looks like now, 2024. Let's see if he's still fine. Look, Jim Parak, Parak. Okay, y'all, let's see what he looks like, y'all. <laughs> well, this one particular picture. Oh, he's married and he's so happy. Ooh, girls, he looks good. He plays an officer in a heart-wrenching moment in the series. I don't know, I don't know what this is. So there's that. He's also a firefighter in another episode. Okay, okay. This is one picture. He tans and he looks dreadful. But he's cute. He's cute. Yep, he's cute. He's not like my type, but he could be my type. Yeah, he's he's kind of cute. He's cute. Yep, yep, look at all. Yep, he's cute. He gained weight, y'all. So did I. So there's that. In case anybody cares. Yeah, he's... Ooh, you should see him, guys. Dressed up all gangsta. Anyways, but there's some pictures. He looks dreadful. Anyways, thank you guys. So, now that I went through that with you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Sorry about my rant. You guys, feel free to type ferociously down below. For the Sookie lovers, I'm sure the next episode, it won't be as bad. And guess what? Sookie lovers, I might love her the next episode. So hold on to your Sookie love. Um... I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Thank you guys once again. Check out all my other reactions. And until next time, I'm off this.